Welcome to the second video in how to build a recommendation system like YouTube's video series. In this video we're going to create a recommendation algorithm and pass back the top 10 results. So let's get started. So in the last video we looked at building the data out. Um, I've made a few adjustments to the datagen.js file. I've incremented the numbers up for the generate user um, to 50. I've also increased, uh, decreased the categories to 10. I've kept the channels to 20, but I've increased the video generation to 2000. I've also included inside of the users, sorry, inside of the uh, generation viewer personalization, I've increased this to 500 and included a new category value in here to make it easier for us to filter our results uh, later on. So let's get into the script. Now this script was quite a large one, it was 151 lines. Uh, the next script, it's gonna be around 60 lines of code. Uh, so it would be a lot shorter, but it's a, a lot more complicated. Uh, so inside the JS file, index.js file here, the end results we're looking at is something like this. So if I remove this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to import fs so we can read our files. So const fs equals require. And then that's going to just be fs. I mean, for this one, we're going to also be using a lodash. So const underscore equals require lodash. Now to install lodash, we can run npm i lodash. And that will install it for us. I currently have it installed, so this won't go through. So to run through this just very quickly, what we want to do is create a mock user. And then we want to create some weights. And then we're going to filter the results. That's so we don't deal with every bit of data because the data is going to be massive. You'd realistically you'd do the filtering on an API or directly via a database. Uh, but for this example, we're just using a JSON file. So we're going to have to filter the results within the actual code. Then after this, this is where we're going to get the 10 results. But inside of this, what we'll be doing is we'll also be calculating the weights. And then we we'll wrap all of that inside of a init. And that's where we're going to get our code from. So I'm going to start off by creating this init. To do that, we're going to do const init. And that's going to equal to an async. It's going to be an empty function, and then underneath we're going to call init. So that won't actually do anything at the moment, uh, but what we'll do when we create the other functions up here, what we'll do is we'll import them into here to run. So let's start off by creating a mock user. So I've got some data here. I'll just paste it in and I'll explain what we're doing. So the mock user is going to have a user ID and we're going to have an array of categories. So rather than just having a single category, we're going to have an array of categories so we can select the best videos from multiple categories. And then underneath this, inside the weights, we're going to have an object. And that object is going to have a watch percentage. And that watch percentage is going to have a value of 10. So we're going to rate this on values of minus 10 to 10. You can do the same thing from 0 to 1. Um, I just decided to do minus 10 to 10, just so I don't have to deal with all of the multiplication and division of uh, decimal numbers. Then we have ignored, and that's going to be equal to minus 3. Now you can change these values to whatever you like. Liked, it's going to be equal to 9. This liked will be equal to minus nine, just to give it a balance. Shared will be equal to five. Subscribed equal to 10. And skipped be equal to minus three. So as I say, you can update these as you see fit. Um, just the positive ones will want to have a positive integer and the negative ones will not want to have a negative integer. So that's done, what we can do is we can filter the results, create a new function, 
and that function is going to be called filter viewer personalization that's going to take in an input of category and on this we want to return a new promise And that promise will have a resolve and a reject. So now we can start grabbing the data from the files. So we want fs.read file. And this is going to be the data file that we have. So that will be viewer personalization.json, this one here. And that's going to kick out a UTF-8. And then the callback for this function will return an error and the data. So then we want to tell it if there's an error, we want to reject with an error. And then the error that we get from here. But if everything's okay, what we want to do is we want to pass the JSON. So we'll say all, and then we'll have the viewer personalization. I'll just copy this out because it saves typing every time. And that's going to be equal to json.pass, and then we're passing the data. This allows us to use the data. And then what we want to do is we want to filter this data now. So we want filtered data, and that will be equal to all viewer data all viewer personalization dot filter inside the filter we want to loop through the records so this counts as a single record here in the filter and we want to check that the category that we have here includes the viewer personalization dot category So what that's going to do is that's going to check every category that we've got in our list up here and then that's going to pass it back if this value is included within that category list. So once that's done we can now resolve and then we can pass back the filtered data. So we can check this works by going down to our initialization we can run const filtered data is equal to weight and then filter data viewer personalization and then pass in the mock user dot category and then we can console.log the filter data inside the terminal at the bottom we can run node dot and there we go we can see that we have the filter data in here and just to prove that is filter data we can go into the viewer personalization file. We can see that there are 25,000 results. And this is only passing back uh, 4,600, I believe, after this bit's been added on, or maybe 4,550. So the next bit of code I think would be sensible to write would be the calculate weights function. There's um, quite a bit of code that's going into this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the code i've written in the previous test and paste it in and then what i'll do is i'll run through it and tell you exactly what's happening so what this max weight constant here is doing it's getting the maximum number inside of our weights here so it'll be 10 here or this 10 here we can include increase this to 100 we can increase that to 20 and it'll take this one uh, whichever one it's going to take is the highest because what we want to do and you'll see in this next calculate weight function is we're actually going to be dividing by this max weight so it sort of normalizes the data for us so inside the calculate weight function what i'm doing i'm creating a constant of these variables here and these are going to come from the user data we have passed through here this is to limit the amount of data we're actually passing through and then the weight is going to be calculated so this is this mathematical equation here we're going to have if the watch percentage is greater than zero we're going to say weights.watch percentage is divided by watch percentage otherwise return zero so if someone didn't watch a video or it's set set to zero it will return zero if we didn't have this in here it would cause issues
and then for the next set of values the ignored liked disliked shared subscribed and skipped uh, we're following the same pattern so for example if ignored is true we're going to then take the weights.ignored and divide that by the max weight so that should give us this ignored minus three divided by this 10 here otherwise return zero and we do the same for the liked disliked shared subscribed and skipped so then what we do is we convert all of this then into a percentage and then return that back so this calculate weights will become apparent in the get the top 10 videos so i'll write the get top 10 videos up here so this is going to be a const get top 10 videos and that's going to be equal to a new function with date that takes some data and this is where we're going to be mainly using lodash for this what we want to do is we want to return lodash.chain that's going to take in the data then we want to map this data and each part of the data is going to be called item and we want to map that to item dot video id And this is where we use our calculate the weight. So calculation, calculate weight, and we pass through the item. Oops, I've got a typo here, item.videoid. Next thing we want to do is we want to group the items because currently it's gonna have all of the items in their own part of the array. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that every ID is then collated into a single item and then what we're going to do is we're going to add all the values of those together and then average those values out based on the amount of items that are in that array so the group by is going to have taken the item what we want to do is we want to group by the item and the zeroth part of the array so this particular part of the array is the ID value so for example this ID value here but for the video so once we group those what we want to do is we want to now reduce this down uh, so we can use the map so that will take in the items and we want to get the total weights so all of those items are added together so const total weights that will be equal to lodash dot sum sum by and we're taking the items and loop through the item and return the item that's the first point in the array so the zero nth part of the array is the id the first nth part of the array is the actual weight so then what we want to do here is we want to average those values out so const average weight is equal to the total weights we're going to divide that by item dot length and then we can return an object so we want to return the id which is going to be items zero zero and the score which will be the average weight we have above so if we run this uh, we change the filter here to get top 10 videos and that will take in the filtered results, filtered data. Let me just add dot value onto the end of here. I'm getting an error here because I've got an S on the end of this on line 42. That's the items.length because obviously we're referencing the entire array. So as you can see here, we've got all of our values they're all collated and we've got these score values here uh, but currently they're just randomly mixed um, so you can see we've got some higher numbers some lower numbers as we go through so there's 20 that's the highest one at the moment we've seen so now let's sort those if i get rid of this value here we'll put that back in, in a second what we want to do is we want to sort those by score so we can do sort by score so sort by score and that should now sort those out um, but it will do it uh, from smallest to largest so we need to now reverse that and then we just want to return 10 so we take 10 from there and then as before we can kick out the value so if we now run this inside of here 
can see that we get the top 10. So the top, very top one is 53% likely the person will like it based on other people's preferences. And then you can see the next one is 28, 27, 25. So if I now take this one out of the array, we should be able to see different results. Okay, so we can see that the 53% is still at the top. So it's 53, 28, 27, 25. 53, 28, 27, 25 is missing because it's in a different category. Then we have our 21. The more categories we add to this, the more viewer information we get, uh, the better the results will be. Now, obviously, this is mock data. So if we have a look at the viewer personalization data uh, when we generated it, um, we had trues and false randomly put into places, whether someone subscribed or not. Um, so ignored true, liked true, so that obviously that can't be correct. Um, but if you have real data here, um, you should get some really good results. So you can technically take this further if you wanted to. Uh, you could see which um, channel, for example, has a particular category. So let's say, for example, this category here we were looking at, and you could return relevant channels based on the category that person's looking at as well, as well as just relevant videos. If you'd like to see a video on how to do that, uh, leave a comment below. All of the code written here today will also go into a Git repo. The Git repo is in the description. If you found this video useful, uh, please subscribe. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out the Patreon link. Also check out this video on the screen now to learn more about JavaScript. Thank you for watching.